Hey folks, First One Five Doppler Network has been really quiet today. Not much going on across the valley after we saw that good rain in the eastern part of the valley yesterday. There is nothing left out there. It's likely to change though by late in the day tomorrow. Let's watch Future Track. Suggests that overnight it's quiet, just partly cloudy skies. But during the daytime tomorrow, isolated showers show up again along the sea breeze during the afternoon. The moisture begins to increase, but it's tomorrow night. And Thursday is our biggest concern because by then a uh, front's going to stall just to the north of us. But look how it triggers showers and thunderstorms moving across the valley. And the models kind of go back and forth about timing and when things are going to move in. But I think anytime late tomorrow night and during the daytime on Thursday, there's potential for some pretty good rainfall in the area. A lot of clouds. They're not going anywhere. In fact, they're lingering into Friday. And there could even be a couple of thunderstorms around on Friday as well. Here's projected rainfall from future track again through tomorrow afternoon. Not all that much, mainly concentrated in the coastal counties, kind of like yesterday, but then it's tomorrow night and into early Thursday. We really see the best chance for rain. You get to Thursday afternoon. You're looking at you know, widespread half an inch to an inch, but look at the bullseye that shows up just to the west of Falcon Lake out there. Some heavy stuff is going to happen somewhere. Earlier, one of the models today showed that bullseye closer to the western part of the valley and knowing exactly where that's going to be tough to say, but Best chances west, but I think anybody fair game for an inch, inch and a half of rain between now and Friday morning, and it may not end Friday morning. There's still a chance for some on Friday as well. The cause, a dying front that's pushing down towards South Texas. It's in the middle of the state by tomorrow afternoon, and out ahead of it, we see sea breeze showers. But as that front progresses southward, we see thunderstorms firing up along that front, a front that's going to die right there. It'll be the focal point for rain development Thursday and perhaps into Friday as well. The front will wash out on Friday. That'll be the end of it, but there'll still be moisture in the area, so scattered thunderstorms still a possibility even into Friday. Next front on the map, not going to get here. That'll stay away. So we go 30% mainly tomorrow afternoon, and then tomorrow night into Thursday, we jump up to 70 and then scale it back to 50% on Friday. But you can see between Thursday and Friday, pretty good bet for almost everybody getting at least some rain in the valley. Here's a look at the current temperatures. Most places in the 90s, still 102. Nice fall day in Rio Grande City. Southerly winds about 14. The dew points down just a little. Low temperatures tonight, upper 70s and low 80s. 80 at the island. Same thing in McAllen. And then tomorrow back in the mid 90s. But of course, if you get rained on, you will cool off significantly from that. The next three days, the normals 91. We're going 93, 86, and 88 for Thursday and Friday. So for tonight, just a few clouds. It's a mild night, a low of 78. Then tomorrow, back up to 93. But if you get rained on, you'll cool off. Tomorrow's rain chance, only about 30%. I think the afternoon, it's a sea breeze day, kind of like what yesterday saw. Not everybody gets rained on. But I think then tomorrow night and Thursday, most people get rain on sometime between tomorrow night and early Friday. There's going to be rain across a lot of the valley, and we're worried there could be one or two places that pick up a large rainfall total. So we'll be watching that. Then it kind of tapers off, but the rain chances never go away. We're in that time of year when a lot of tropical moisture here, so each afternoon stuff could pop up along the sea breeze. Temperatures just a little cooler, courtesy of the rain. That is your updated First One Five forecast.